Republican Congressman John Boehner of Ohio is the House Minority Leader. He's one of the chief negotiators for the Republicans. Congressman Boehner, Warren Buffett warned if Congress doesn't act, quote, there would be the biggest financial meltdown in American history. What in the world are you people doing? Well, Katie, uh, I was there on the floor today urging members to support this bill. Uh, but you have to understand that you've got uh, members on both sides of the aisle who are getting thousands of calls from their constituents uh, saying don't ever vote for this. Now I believe that uh, it's in the best interest of our country uh, to pass this bill. And I've worked overtime over the last 10 days uh, to try to find a way to protect taxpayers and uh, to have this package passed because I think the risk to the American people, uh, to our economy, is so important uh, that we cannot fail to act like we did today. What was the impact of Speaker Pelosi's remarks today in your view? Well, we had about a dozen members that we thought that we could, uh, we could bring along on the floor. They were, they were in play, uh, not committed to vote for it, uh, but after uh, what I thought was a rather partisan speech, given, uh, given the nature of this bill and how we've worked in a bipartisan way, it really killed uh, our chances to get any of those dozen members uh, to, to, to actually come our way and vote for the bill. It just, it just didn't need to happen. I know we're five weeks from an election, uh, but we could have waited until this bill passed to begin firing partisan shots. And how do you cobble this thing back together and when? Katie, uh, you know, the Democrats control Congress, and Speaker Pelosi is going to have to make some decisions uh, about how to move ahead. Uh, I think uh, the dust has to settle here uh, this evening, and then we'll have a better chance later on tonight and tomorrow uh, to make some determinations about how best to proceed and proceed together. House Minority Leader John Boehner. Congressman, thank you very much. Thank you.